Hey YouTube, this is Cypher Snake 89 and it has been 10 years since this day. 11, 11, 11. The birth of Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. It seems so long ago since I started this channel doing all those low resolution videos of course, Skyrim was new then, and in 10 years, look how many additions there have come out. Not to mention the Creation Club. Yeah, 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 insert sleeky snake oil salesman and meme here. But here I am With on this day. Words together, this shout is much more powerful. So present a anniversary gift for the Skyrim game. Make sure I stand near the center or the this is going to look silly. I bet you can guess which faction I'm going to play as, but we're not going to do any quests. In this anniversary gift, we will be exploring voices. the various creation clubs which fans have made possible after this little introductory sequence. It's okay, this is a scripted sequence. is open to you. I'm sure we'll be coming back here in my own place, hon. But now, as I promised, the anniversary gift made possible by the fans who have worked diligently for ten long years to bring the lore, the legends, and untold mysteries to light here in the 10th anniversary of Skyrim. Let us begin, shall we? Let's see. That's going to be one of the last we cover. So there are quick ones, there are short ones, but we're going to be covering as many as we can. Let's start with the ones for the warriors. That's going to be one we'll take care of in a moment, probably near the end.
So first, we're going to need a base of operations to store all our stuff. Back when Hearthfire was announced, it was supposed to give you the initial intention was to give you three different places to choose a house from. Upon loading the DLC, you only get one. Kind of jit. So moderators and Creation Club people worked on a solution and came out with the Creation Club answer, revealing the two remaining places several years later. And the easiest ac to access player home is this. It's just east of the city Morthal. Hidden away in a quiet grove is this rather ominous looking building. Uh-oh. I hear some. Ah, something's hit me. Oh, it's a Chorus. Kind of insect creature. So yes, this is Mirwatch. And after you approach and you deal with the creature, You'll be asked to look at this body of Hans. Deep in the swamps of Hjalmarth, where the branches are gnarled and mist is thick, lies a tower unknown province. Few in the province uh, dare speak the name Mirwatch, and those that do count coach their words with apprehension and fear, yet the mystery of the tower only piques my interest further, and so I've made my life's work to go forward. And to discover its secrets. What I can deduce is past comes from its present. From the cut of the stone to the ward that surrounds it, every piece is a clue, a signature that can be traced back to a pen and hand. The stone seal guard that guards the entrance is one of the none other than the Eye of Magnus, a symbol born of the legacy of Shal Shalidor. Its burning gaze can be found not just in Mirwatch, but outside the College of Winterhold. Could it be the mages here were cast out from college and set out to carve their own path? But it's, it's but a theory, and yet I feel it has merit. Nevertheless, without access to the mind it, of its occupants, true insight will remain frustratingly out of my grasp. So here he is with a fire spell and a journal. Taking a look at his journal. Oh, that's Arvel the Swiss. Sorry, Hans. Dead language, but soon I started cursing all fool fool. In this he is trash. Outslip two items of value, a map and a nose. Mm -hmm. So one of the last mages to hold this place gave gave or sold this book to Hans. But apparently Hans has no ability for magic. Fortunately, we do. Because we're the Dovakin. So apparently you've got to place fire on the seal. 
and out comes a little ghost rabbit. Do not try to harm this and just watch its progress. It'll go over to this pyre and the ghost fire will light. This undoes the protection around the on this mage's player home. Mirwatch now belongs to the Dovakin. Unlike the Hearthfire DLC where you have to build the structure and then get the materials in an almost endless loop to furnish it, this one comes fully furnished. With stacks of books, some things to eat, nice warm fire and comfy chairs. And what's this? Mirrorwatch Gallery. This must be the teleport to the second floor. And what a second floor it is. Many mannequins, many weapon holsters. Now this is an interesting thing because the, this is for the uh, Dragon Priest's masks that you uh, come across in the game. We haven't got any yet because I'm starting a new file just to showcase this for my new players. Hmm. Oh, a very, very powerful. So these are specially made. Oh, I get it. All right, let's see. Oriel's bow. Weapon racks. Well, it seems as good a place as any to dump some stuff because we are about to collect a lot. First mannequin. I think we'll let it hold on to and for the second, we'll let it hold on to the guards apparel. We're probably going to be collecting quite a few in this war. Now, let's see. Now we have a base of operations, we can begin collecting. And the nearest one is... Hmm. Ah, that would be nice if we could fast travel. Oh, but here's a nice one that I can get to quickly. So I'd like to know, down in the comments section, if anyone has played the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion's DLC, The Shivering Isles. Have you? Have you not? Well, I can tell you, it's a realm of oblivion. 
one of the Daedric realms that belonged to one of the Elder Gods. A very mad god, Sheogorath, the Prince of Madness. And in this place, there are limitless possibilities, but also infinite consequences. I'll take one of the possibilities, for example. While you're working your way through that DLC, players will have come across a grove underground with a lake as black as midnight and shiny as a mirror. And it is that mirror we are on our way to see because thanks to the through a glass darkly creation kit there has been an emergence but let me just deal with this idiot first ah crud that's right I dumped all my weapons time to run So, when after you've gotten the deer, the creation club kit uh, for this mythical place, all you need to do is head here to the East March Geysers. This will play a part in another DLC, in another creation kit that we shall cover later. And that right there is the camp for it. We must not trigger it just yet. We can help it. Gleam Sanctuary. Uh, sounds familiar. Oh, well, going a little off course. There's so many. We're gonna have to use our powers of the battle cry. So yeah, for the new player traveling to this area, it takes a while to actually find the correct pool. The easy way to find it is the Atronach Stone. But here you'll see, as you approach the geysers, one of them is pitch black. It shadow rend will create a freaking dragon. Oh great! No, it creates this shadow of yourself that's armed with the weapon. You're gonna have to kill, defeat the ghost quickly. Well, this turned out a bunch of hoo hawk. Now, Shadow Rend will switch between two forms the axe, double bladed axe, and the long sword, and the broadsword, depending on which one you equip. 
to um, activate, that's the version you'll get. Beat this thing and while well, it's hovering. Go away! Or land, I'm not particular as to which. Yeah, so I've been an ancient dragon this hot high in the game. I've been doing some leveling before I started this. As you can see, even without enhancements, the weapon I picked up, Shadow Rend. Target's 15% weaker to magic for 30 seconds. Which is nice as if, if your character happens to have some mages along. But really, for a Nord character, what's better than a big double bladed axe? And that's that that for this creation club kit. Right. Well, two down. Let's see. The Lost Paladin. This actually harkens back to uh, one of the DLCs. Uh, no, not even DLC. One of the base weapons for the game of Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Yep, you heard me. We'll be going after a Morrowind weapon. Dragon Soul! So next we're going after the next closest one, um, the weapon Ruins Edge. I'm not entirely sure which game that this one came from. The one I was talking about a second ago was Chrysomir. Which, as far as I'm aware, was first obtainable in uh, Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. So, to get Ruin's Edge, once you have downloaded the um, creation kit, you gotta go back to the geysers and fight all these bears. But this is just part one. Yeah, that's right. This is gonna be a little bit of a task. The Through a Mirror Darkly kit to get Shadow Rend. That was interrupted by a dragon spawning. And that's an area we'll get to in a much later. So what you want to do is heading to this eastern part. You'll find more bears to fight. You're going to have to fight a lot of wildlife to get up here. It's not easy. Yes. Hop, 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 de hop, hop, hop. Yes, this game is 10 years old, and yet I'm still able to do the wall jumping glitch.
This only works on walls that have a slight incline. find a bandit who has come into the possession of Ruin's Edge. A weapon that, let's face it, looks like it belongs in the Shivering Isles. But I've never found so... Actually, Ruin's Edge might have been from the Shivering Isles DLC for Elder Scrolls 4. I don't know how I came to that conclusion because you can actually get the bow as a reward for helping the Duchess of Dementia during the whole quest line. Shadowrend, if you please. Ha! I didn't even need the blade. I just bashed his skull in with my helmet. Isn't that Nordly. Yes, I think it's Nordly. Shut up. I mean, the lore behind these kinds of weapons is probably the best thing that they could come, that they could do. Fans have been trying to make crossover yeah, games for here. years, but every time, every single time, Bethesda shuts it down. And why? Because if they wouldn't make any money off of it. Disgraceful, I know. Well, that's just how Todd Howard does things. If he can't make money, it's not going to be allowed. And here it is, the newer version of Ruin's Edge. Give it a quick look in the weapons menu. Randomly applies one of the pro targets. Frost, Demoralize, Frenzy, Drain, Magic, and Paralyze. If we go into first person here, it's looking at us. Yes, that's not just a gimmick. You see it? It blinked. That is an actual living weapon. Just like the legendary Soul Edge. Demon Blade of the Soul Calibur series. And now we're gonna go after Chrysomir, the blade I promised you five minutes ago. This one I know to be from Morrowind because during my playthrough I went on a series of quests that the Nerevarin Nerevarin how to pronounce it. Uh, had to do to unite factions and this paladin's blade was one such item now to find the lost paladin you gotta head south Far south.
Oh, a little foxy over there. Yeah. I don't like harming innocent wildlife. But here, we get a chance to show off. Must have been the health tray. Pain. Yep. This bow will inflict a random death with every single shot fired. You don't even have to have enchanted arrows. Ah. Oh, bloody bears. I'm just gonna outrun this one, or at least try to. Run, little rabbit, run! There's a giant bear behind me! Huh? Evil temple. Hmm. Interesting. Gonna have to look that up at some point. So here in the south of Skyrim, we can see in the distance the Jural Mountains. On the other side lies Bruma. And the rest of the Cyrodiil Empire. We have to come this far south just to get a few of the Creation Club locators signed in. What do I mean by that? I'll explain. Now the Champion's Rest we will go to shortly, or I should say return to, because guess what? It's another Creation Kit hit location. Uh, the, that and that. The Lost Paladin apparently can spawn anywhere on the map once you've loaded the DLC. Apparently it shows a location that we haven't been to yet. I tried it on another file just to play test it before I did this video and it was right in the middle of the map, slightly north of White run. Stormcloak soldier. I'm dressed just like you. I'm one of you guys. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm not sus. Yes, I know. I'm not losing any stamina. And the reason for that is a community mod that I will admit I am using. It's called the God Ring. Whoever came up with it, basically, as long as the player character wears the ring, they are invulnerable. They cannot take it. They will not die from any damage that is greater than their HP. They will not run low on Magicka, but they do not have infinite amount. So you can't just put this thing on and start casting master level spells if you're a total noob. If your MP is low, it'll restore it, but it won't bolster it. And I'm lost apparently. There's a way. There's always a flipping way. If I can just get up. The rock wall, rock climbing glitch. I can get a little closer. Mm -hmm. 
So yes, getting these creation club items will of course be funneling money towards towards Bethesda and Todd Howard. But for those of you who miss Morrowind, Cyrodiil, and you can't really play the unfinished uh, Morrow Oblivion or Ska Oblivion and uh, fan made games which use the greater graphics engine to create uh, re renditions of the old games maps. Well, this is the next best thing. This is for console owners, basically. No, well, that didn't go anywhere. So, hang with us. We'll be there as soon as we can. That bloody spider, and it brought a friend. Right the top of this mountain, looks like. Yep. But every mountain path has a way up to it. You don't have to take advantage of this glitch that I'm performing right now. You just have to get around it and find the path. You never should have shown your face. Weapons. Shadow end. Slash attack. Just get closer. Uh, I can get up there. Oh, there it is. See? You often end up going around the wrong way, anyway. So embarrassing. So, yes. So once we are finally here, 
of the 30,000 mile trek. And we can find a way into the building. I mean, I'm just showing you where it could have been one place, but it could be anywhere else. The four lost dis most has been discovered. And it is here we shall find the lost paladin. Hmm. You there, hold! You're a true friend to Skyrim, you will help me in my mission. The what General mission? has sent me to obtain a powerful weapon for the war effort. This is not this part the of the Creation Club kit. Right. The Creation Club has chosen the spawning point to be inside of another mission that's in the vanilla game. Very good. The research I've done seems to indicate that Scorm Snowstrider left part of his journal here after laying siege. I believe it should indicate how to enter the blocked off sections of the stronghold. I should warn you, Foral Host is quite haunted, but I'm sure you can handle it. Return to me here once you've obtained the staff. So we have to trudge this damn dungeon to get it. When I did it on my other profile, it was just on a map in the middle of nowhere. That's right, you saw me headbutt a ghost. Hmm, Imperials. Ooh. Ancient Nord armor. Eh, why the heck not? It's, you have to get up to about level 50 to get all this, this gear. This guy's been around since before the war. Old chest. Sorry, I know I'm wasting time. Looks like Imperial and Stormcloak have been trying to get in here. Are you laughing at me, bone bonds? Eh, you'll be laughing on the other side of your face when I get through with you. See? The other side of your face. Looks like there's something over there. Oh, we can't get there. In a 
Oblivion you could have spells that unlock chests, but I guess they thought that was a little too OP. Shame, really. Because I liked it. I'm pretty sure other p players did too. So this is like, this is being a huge waste of time having to do all this just for the thing I came here for. Oh golly. Gotta find a way out, quick. Dead bodies and undead bodies. you stop to fight every single enemy this would take about another 20 minutes to do in handy somehow. somewhere. Yeah, we kind of did. Uh, that was for a good reason. Once you've got the key, you can get to the master lock.
Okay, I thought it was a passageway. No, it's just a crusher. So we're going to go up this way to the refectory. Then we find the lost paladin, but where is he? You know, I'm starting to think I know why they call him the lost paladin. He is so pathetic, he got lost! Yeah. I'm on fire to help me in the hide. <sighs> Burning hell, you sweepy bastards. That wasn't supposed to happen. Where is he? get to this next part, we're gonna have to go through this door. I'm sure there's a key, but I don't remember where it is. Hmm, that was easy. Thank you. Continuing part two. 